How do you prevent something like this from happening again? A shooting at Santa Caligon Days in Independence injured four people, and police are still looking for suspects. Now the city and the Chamber of Commerce are trying to plan for next year's event. KCTV5's Nathan Vickers is live to show us what they are thinking about. Nathan? Well, the Independent City Council is getting ready to meet right now. That meeting is just about to start, and this topic is definitely going to come up. People here at the city level and at the Chamber of Commerce level, they say this can't happen again. As workers finish the final cleanup from Santa Caligon days, discussion about next year is already starting. It needs to be talked about. Daniel Hobart is on the Independent City Council, which is already talking to the police and Chamber of Commerce about improving security measures for downtown events. That plan will likely come out in a few weeks. Well, the plan going forward is uh, cameras, more and more cameras, and probably increased security. But for many in the community, it's also a matter of outreach. How do we help them make better choices? Rachel Williams Glenn is a pastor at St. Paul AME and part of a local group called Community of Concerned Citizens, which meets with police monthly as part of an outreach program. We just step out, try to be a voice, to help diffuse tension. Tensions like those that built up Sunday night or at other events like the violent incidents that have happened at Independence Center in recent years. Carol Salinas is another member of the group who has started going to those settings to try and help young people de-escalate situations. I just walk around and talk to the young people and explain that this is a place for family time. They say it's also about reaching parents. These kids were there all by themselves. There, there weren't any adults attached to them. There's a lot to think about between now now and next year, but the process is already starting. This is a treasured event for us. We can hopefully do better in helping to, to provide security going forward, uh, but hopefully that doesn't, doesn't spoil it in everybody's minds. We have another crew that's sitting in on that meeting right now. Emily Ribbon will have a report on the discussion tonight at 10. Reporting live, Nathan Vickers, KCTV 5 News.